Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. Today we're going to be installing a 30,021 Classic Black EFI system on this 64 Nova. Here we have a 1964 Chevy Nova and we're going to install our Fitech Co EFI Classic Black Fuel Injection System. Our Classic Series uses an external ECU and has a similar look to a traditional carburetor but with modern Fitech EFI performance and features. The first thing when installing any EFI system is to go through a checklist. First off, is my alternator large enough? A fuel pump draws roughly 15 amps all of the time and electric fans draw nearly 30 amps. The EFI injectors and oxygen sensors can draw up to 10 amps. Also check, do I have the proper spark plug wires and spark plugs? They absolutely must be resistor style for both. While we're at it, are my spark plug wires in very good condition? Burn plug wires are a common cause of several problems. The battery must also be in very good condition. This Nova's battery was weak and drained quickly, so we replaced it with a larger capacity battery for improved cranking voltage and traced down the cause of the drain. For EFI, fuel delivery is also a very critical issue. On this Nova, we added the Force Fuel Mini because it has the fuel pressure regulator built in and the engine is less than 600 horsepower. We fed the Force Fuel Mini with a factory engine mount carburetor fuel pump. Ensuring that these things are right will allow for an easier installation and better performance from your Fitech fuel injection system. You can check out our other Tech Tuesdays for more information on this. Before we begin the installation of the EFI system, we inspect the vehicle for problems and determine the best routing for fuel lines and where to install the oxygen sensor. We also examine the engine bay for potential issues such as throttle and transmission linkages and determine the best position for mounting the ECU, or electronic control unit, and how we'll mount the force fuel mini. Then after disconnecting the battery, we remove the existing carburetor and add the provided base gasket. We can now place the classic black throttle body on the intake manifold. Be sure to tape off the top while installing the system in order to prevent objects from falling in while working on your vehicle. Now we can hook up the fuel line from the Forest Fuel Mini high pressure outlet along with a 10 micron fuel filter. The included wideband oxygen sensor must be installed and is a key component of the system. Included with the system is a clamp-on oxygen sensor bung kit, but we recommend welding it on as the clamp system is only intended to be temporary if you need to drive the vehicle to an exhaust shop for final welding. We are installing a low pressure fuel line to the gas tank and routing it neatly under the vehicle to the force fuel mini for the return line. We primed the force fuel mini with fuel before turning it on because the mechanical pump feeding it needs quite some time and engine speed to begin pumping fuel into the force fuel tank. Our classic EFI systems use an off-board ECU. We found a place in the engine bay that is fairly far from heat and we're sure to mount it with the electrical connector pointing downward so that the connector can't collect any water that may happen to reach it. The harness connects directly to the battery for power and ground. This Nova's intake manifold did not have an extra port available for the included coolant temperature sensor. In this case, we added a spacer under the thermostat that has a threaded port for the coolant temperature sensor. It is very important to use the coolant temperature sensor and that it be on the hot side of the thermostat. There's a tack wire connection and a key wire connection needed on this system. We were able to connect to the ignition coil on this system for both of those connections. If this Nova had a CDI box, we'd use the TAC output and ignition key input for that instead. If your vehicle has an electric cooling fan, the Classic Series ECU can control one fan relay by grounding the signal for the relay when the engine temperature is above the user adjustable temperature. Connect the handheld cable and route it to the passenger compartment and connect the handheld. Before starting the engine, connect the battery, turn the key on, and check for fuel leaks. Then go through the initial setup process on the handheld. Here you can see our patented annular spray pattern that makes sure the fuel goes into the engine with excellent atomization and doesn't have any splashing going upwards. That completes the installation of the 30,021 Classic Black EFI system on this 64 Nova. Be sure to refer to the instruction manual for detailed instructions on your particular application. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, you can call our tech line or email them. I hope you join us again next week for another Tech Tuesday at FiTech.